welcome to live digital talks. Um, we're here with Sarah Blacksmith, uh, Head of Factory Operations at Congleton, to learn a bit about the journey that Siemens, its customers and partners have been on, and what we hope you can learn as well. Now, we know that ripping and replacing doesn't really work. You know, this out with the old, in with the new, and actually technology really can help to continually improve and upgrade. Mm -hmm. And it's a journey that you've been on as well. Um, so we're the oldest Siemens UK site, um, that's always been a UK, uh, Siemens site, um, so 1971 we were established. That's amazing. Yeah, as a, originally as like a, a warehouse and a switch shop manufacturer, so, and then we created, uh, developed and manufactured the first drive there in the early 90s, um, and the journey has just continued from um, since sort of the early 90s when the first drive was manufactured, so. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Now I know a lot of our audience will sort of be worried, uh, will be anxious about sort of starting this journey, that this digital factory, you know, that they have to take a rip and replace approach. So there's this quote that, that keeps coming up, and the quote is, in theory, you need to replace all of your machines. In practice, you need to take one smart step at a time. Yeah. How have you found that process from sort of start to finish? And, and when you start it, what were your initial worries? Yeah, in practice, you can't rip anything out. Most people haven't got the cash, you know, the capital to be able to do that. So it's not really feasible. It wasn't feasible for us. Um, you know, we're in a, in a site that's an old building. Um, we're limited on space, you know, and we're limited in the capital spend that we've got. So whatever we changes we make, it's got to be really well thought through and it's got to deliver value for our factory. So um, the way that we started was that we took a a core team of people, only four people, oh. out of the day-to-day -day business as usual um, because they weren't able to focus. Um, when you're so caught up in the operations, you're not able to, to think about, well, actually put your head above the parapet and see what, what is it that we're not looking at. Um, so those four people really focused on looking at um, what technologies were we not using from an advanced manufacturing point of view. So at the time, probably five years ago now, we weren't looking at any automation, we weren't looking at robotics, um, and we were also not even looking at any of the digital enterprise side of things. So Siemens, where I work, has obviously got a massive um, portfolio of, um, of PLM, product lifecycle management tools that can help you become more productive. And we weren't looking at any of those at the time. So two of the people started to look at what are those different tools, how could they add value to our factory, um, and it sort of evolved from there. And what has been the, the biggest return you've seen so far, you know, as an improvement? Where, where are the areas where you think, wow, this is really changing in a, in a positive way? Um, well, some of the, the, the automation that we've been able to deploy has been fantastic. Um, and we've also started to, one of the, another challenge is, is getting the right skills for, for people. Um, so we've been on a journey over the last five years of, of upskilling our engineers, our, our manufacturing engineers in terms of robotics and, and how do you program those robots so that we don't have to spend a lot of money with external suppliers. Um, and so, we, you know, we've done. A, I think we've done a good job of, of um, moving forward with that journey. I think we've got a lot of opportunities with um, harnessing a lot of the data from the machines that we've got, which we're we're starting to do now, connecting assets to the cloud, and we're in the process of developing a number of applications so that we can analyse that data and make better decisions on um, maintenance, for example. Um, and then start to look at AI in the future. We're not there yet. I was but, gonna say, what's yeah. the next thing on your agenda that you're most excited about? Yeah, we, we, well, it, it is um, looking at artificial intelligence and how we can um, have the machines communicating back to each other, you know, with, with making changes if there's a quality problem, um, so that we've got less human intervention as possible um, and we can make better quality products, yeah. And if you had sort of one, yeah, one piece of advice for people about to start this, this journey and again looking at this sort of you know terrified this sort of rip and replace idea what, what would it be don't digitalize waste that's one of the things that my um, my managers said to me on lots of occasions you know it, it doesn't doing looking at automation and looking at digitalizing processes you need to have good processes first you know otherwise you've just got a bad process that you've digitalized